So I'm gonna make a video talking about the entirety of Superman and Lois season two, which I feel like is desperately needed because this season had taken so long to air, so many breaks and whatnot, that I'm um, talking about the entire season as a whole and kind of being able to think back on what worked and what didn't work is really, really, really helpful. Uh, I know I was extremely negative on the final because they cut it out of Earth Prime, but I'm going to make sure that this video is unbiased and just talks about the season as a season and not the fact that, you know, the showrunner kind of lied and baited out of his fans for two years. Um, so yeah, season two, in general, I think was a bit of a big step down from season one. I think a lot of what worked about season one that really worked about season one was not really present in this season. Now this season still had a lot going for it. I thought that their take on the bizarro version of Clark or the bizarro version of Superman was really, really, really interesting. I'm not happy that they took him off the board so quickly, but I think that it was honestly a very it wasn't just a unique take on the character but it honestly felt like a very human take on Clark like he wasn't a villain on his world but he was he was still a hero but he kind of the fame and stuff and stuff sort of got to him but he was still a hero when it needed it was like kind of a middle ground between you know the evil Superman we always see but also the absolute perfect Superman we always see and I kind of liked that it was very much like a Superman if he existed in our world it's not like the boys where they immediately turn evil and he, you know this Superman would murder everybody in a second but it does feel like a very realistic take on what Superman might be like in a real world because the boys is great and all but I don't think that's exactly what Homelander would be like in real life I think this is much closer to what actual person with superhero powers would be like on our earth and I thought that that was really 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 interesting and I think a lot of the stuff that worked about the season for me sort of stemmed from that like I thought that seeing the Bizarre World episode was really strong and felt kind of similar to in season one when we had the flashback episode and I hope that we're getting a lot of those like I hope every season we do at least one of those where we get a flashback or an episode completely devoted to somewhere different or something else because it really does help to flesh out the world and all of this sort of stuff. Talro was also a huge highlight of the season for me that I am I thought that bringing him back easily could have fell into sort of the Malcolm Merlin realm that Arrow I, I mean Arrow did it with a load of characters but Malcolm Merlin is kind of the easiest example to point to where it brings back a villain from the first season and sort of redeems them in a way but it sort of keeps him in this sort of antagonistic role to the point where anytime they show up, it's not really special anymore. I feel like Superman and Lois in season two sort of got around that problem. They brought back Tyro a lot, but every time he came back, it felt special. And it also didn't feel like he was still sort of this antagonistic role to Superman. It feels like he's fully kind of on board with Clark and with the Kent family now. And I really enjoyed that. Um, I think now it's possible we might not see Tyro again. The fact that he's on the Bizarre World now could mean that he is there for good, that he's not coming back. And I wouldn't be crazily annoyed if that's the case because I think we got so much good out of him. It might be better to keep him away rather than keep bringing him back and risk kind of the novelty of his appearances wearing off. Because every time he showed up this season, it was impactful and it felt important. So um, I would kind of honestly like if they kept away from that but at the same time he was such a good character I wouldn't mind seeing him again but I think that it was really nice how they ended his arc like ending him with straight up finding a family sort of thing he all he wanted in season one was really to be Clark's brother and to really have a family and now he found that family in Clark in Jordan in Jonathan and all that sort of stuff and in Lois and I really did enjoy that I love that and um, speaking of Lois she was something that I was not extremely happy about this season I absolutely love Lois Lane, one of my favorite fictional characters of all time. Like genuinely, I'm in love with that character. But I don't think she was done justice this season at all. I think that she was on the sidelines far too often and that in general, I think that she just was taken out of play far too often. Now, in the early part of the season, I was really excited for where they were going. I thought having Bizarro Superman be Superman's plot of the season, and then Lois was investigating this cult that had taken her sister and kind of needed to use all of her investigative journalism scenes, and maybe at some point the two storylines would intersect. But I was really hoping that they would be kept separate, that the whole alley thing was gonna not turn into anything huge superpowered based and it could really much be Lois's story for the season. I was really excited to see that. Kind of like how early season one had Lois going after Morgan Edge and Superman going after The Stranger or John Henry Irons. Eventually they did intersect but when they intersected it felt very natural. This season I felt 
was natural in a different way where it felt natural but it kind of ruined the storylines for me where I wasn't really interested in what they were doing anymore that I felt like by making Ali and the bizarre world and all that Superman's primary thing it took everything away from Lois whereas in season one it felt like Lois was right there with Superman on the front lines the entire time this time I felt completely different now that said I thought she got some great moments in the final episode um her telling Kyle that you know no one deserves to be alone and then cut to her being alone in the bizarre world was a fantastic moment it looked great it felt great it had an impact that uh, I really did like but other than that there aren't really many scenes this season that I can point to and say that was a great Lois Lane moment whereas I can think of like at least 20 in season one that I can point to and go that was a great Lois Lane moment and that's really disappointing to me um on top of that Ali I thought was not just an underwhelming villain for the season but one of the most underwhelming villains in DC TV. I feel like we did not learn her motivations and yeah of course we don't need to know every villain's motivations but there still needs to, we still need to I think kind of get an insight into what they are like and why they are doing what they're doing. We got none of that with Ali um, and I kept hoping towards the end of the season that we would eventually get something kind of teasing what she is like but then we, we found out sort of in the final that she just wanted someone that she just wanted like another part of herself so she went to basically almost destroying the world as we know it so that she could get another person to kind of be with her um which is kind of a stupid motivation but at least it was sort of motivation thing is though we should have found that out way before that final episode i thought that when we got the kind of the episode giving us flashbacks on lucy and how lucy will in with the cult i was hoping that that would also give us a lot about ali but it gave us basically nothing about ali and that was really disappointing um, Jordan got some great development this season, basically becoming Superboy, uh, all but in name. I'm really excited to see where they take him next season. I think he's one of the strongest characters on the show. John Henry Irons and Natalie are, were also extremely strong this year. I was a little nervous about where they were taking Natalie in the early part of the season. Um, I was worried she wasn't going to be that strong of a character, but they really did bring it back around the middle point, and both her and John Henry Irons ended up being two of the strongest parts of the season. I would honestly maybe even go as far as to say that they were the strongest parts of the season for me, uh, along with like Bizarro, Superman, Taro, etc. Jonathan was also somebody who was kind of let down this season and unfortunately, besides the drug plot at the beginning of the season, didn't really get a whole lot to do. Um, Lana, Kyle and Sarah got a lot to do. They were honestly probably the biggest part of the season. Like they, I think that they genuinely might have gotten the most focus this season. And that's... I'm, I'm not going to say I'm happy about that, but I don't hate the characters or anything, so it wasn't like it was bothering me. But I do just think that maybe we could have gotten less of them and more of Lois or more of Jonathan sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I think that this season, it still definitely had its moments. It wasn't like this was a bad season. I was never exactly bored watching it, but I just think that there were a lot of writing decisions and there were just a lot of choices with characters that felt a lot less natural than season one did. People keep saying and pointing to the show as being so much more above the other Arrowverse shows, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't think season two was anywhere better than like the average Arrowverse stuff. I don't think season two is near as good as most of Arrow or near as good as some of early Flash, but I also think season two kind of falls around the middle of like, you know, the average seasons of Flash, the average seasons of Arrow sort of thing. So I think the people saying that um, season two of the show is still better than the, a lot of the Arrowverse things, I think I honestly disagree with that pretty heavily. I think that it's still quite a average season that does not never reach the heights that season one had. Now, to be fair, I really did enjoy the final besides that whole taking it over Earth Prime thing. I thought the final was really strong and had some of the most epic moments in the show. But that was one of the only episodes of the season that I really felt that way about. Whereas with season one, there wasn't a single episode in season one I disliked. As a matter of fact, I think at least half of the episodes of season one, I was like, this is some of the best TV I've ever seen. This is not just some of the best Superman stuff I've ever seen. This is just some of the best TV I've ever seen. Whereas with season two, I really don't think I felt like that really about any of the episodes except for maybe the final. Um, but how did you feel about Superman Lois season two? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Gonna do rankings over the next few days, so probably a ranking on the second seasons of DC TV and then ranking of all eight seasons of The Flash. But I'm um, hoping to hit 1K this year, so if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and all of that. And I hope you have a great day.